when India also started its tryst with democratic destiny, constitutions were framed. We were taught that the essence of democracy is 3D, debate and discussion, dissent and finally decision. And when I retired from parliament on the day of my election as president to this office, I found there is another D which has in <laughs> injected in between that is disruption. And disruption of the proceedings of the house, on the other hand, simply we cannot brush aside that it is irrelevant, it is not necessary. Because there are persons who are doing it, they are equally members of the parliament, they are equally responsible political personalities. Therefore, is it not time for us to find out? how we can address the issue in its proper perspective. That whether disruption puts any serious pressure on the government or it simply denies the rights of the individual members to express his views at the highest national decision-making body. Whether sometimes it provides advantage to the government because questions are the first victims of nowadays and questions hour are being used by the members of the parliament, particularly the private members more than often to put searching questions to the minister, not only to get information but also to sometimes find out the contradiction in the policies of the government. Similarly, we talk of electoral reforms, we talk of how the institution should be strengthened. After all, any democratic system survives, becomes effective on the strength of its institutions. If we make a comparative study where the parliamentary form of democracy has become successful in neoliberated developing countries which got political emancipation after the Second World War, and where it has failed, perhaps one of the reason, the countries where it failed, they failed to establish the relevant institutions to support the democratic structure. Institutions like independent judiciary, free press, <coughs> legislature and executive, though in parliamentary form they are one dependent on the other, but essentially, the legislature having total control over executive in respect of money, finance, taxation and how these institutions could be made more effective. 